what's going on guys it is your boy Cecil here with a video here today I bring us a brand new video on basically why you guys suck at Photoshop so realistically it's just a title to get you guys to the door I'm sure you guys don't suck but if you do if you're a beginner this video is literally gold it was gonna be called or titled top 15 like shortcuts under three minutes that'll definitely help you guys blah 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 all that good stuff so I'm sure 110% even if you've been in Photoshop for five years there's things that I just learned very 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 recently that I'm sure you guys will love and appreciate the fact that I shared it with you guys today so I'm gonna keep the video short and sweet because the video is supposed to be under three minutes but it's not gonna be because of the intro and whatever but it is whatever if you guys do end up enjoying today's video here today please sure to leave a like on it and if you guys are watching this video the day that is actually uploaded in the next 48 hours you still have time to pick up my everything pack for 50% off which is kind of ridiculous the original 30 $30 price is kind of like literally stealing so I don't even know what to call this $15 price tag but if you guys do want to check it out please sure to do so it's at the top of the description for you guys to go ahead and check out but uh that's it let's enjoy it and enjoy the video all that good stuff all right guys so let's start off pretty hot were you aware that you can use the math symbols on your keyboard to quickly adjust your document size in any Adobe program? For instance, what is 1920 by 1080 document size multiplied by 3.5? No need to bring out the calculator, just do it within the program. Let's say you took the time to highlight with the lasso tool a certain object to really quickly cut out. Then at the end, you find out you failed and missed a little bit of the selection. Besides restarting, press Q and it brings you in mask mode. You can now use a white brush to erase the part that you missed. You can also even use the black brush to replace parts. However, press Q again and your selection is fixed. While using the brush tool, you can hold down the tilde key, the keyed left of the number one, to quickly switch from the brush to an eraser with the same exact settings. No need to change tools ever again. While the brush tool is active, you can hold Alt on your keyboard, right click and move your mouse left to right for the brush size, and up and down for the opacity. Duplicating a layer can be done by using Ctrl J, or by holding on your keyboard on a selected layer and dragging on the canvas. Holding shift while moving a layer will help you move it in a straight line, as well as if you use a brush, eraser, or a pen tool. Clicking at one spot with your brush or eraser, hold shift, and click at another, and it'll erase in a straight line. Same exact thing with the pen tool. If you guys have a number pad, you can quickly adjust the layer's opacity to whatever set of numbers you press on it. Here I press 45, and now 66, and all the while you can see it changing the opacity within the layers. When you close a pen tool path, you can press Ctrl Enter to quickly skip it to make it a marquee selection. No need to right click and make selection ever again. With a selection, you can press Alt Backspace to quickly fill in your foreground color and Ctrl Backspace to quickly fill in your background color. While you guys are on the brush tool, Ctrl Alt and Shift and right clicking will quickly bring up your color value bar for fast color adjustments. You can select multiple layers in your layer panel between one another by selecting the top layer, then holding shift and selecting the bottom layer you want to stop at. Then to quickly group the layers together is Control G. Control N will help you quickly open up a new document window. Control Alt Shift and E will help you guys merge all your current layers into one layer in your document, making it much easier for you guys to apply fun distortions without having to duplicate all of your layers and then having to wait to merge them all together. Control alt c can help you quickly adjust your canvas size. While you guys are selected on a layer, pressing Control u will open up hue and saturation where you guys can quickly make logos or objects pure white or pure black by moving the brightness anchor. When looking to zoom in, holding Alt on your keyboard will allow you to zoom into the area that you're hovering, while holding Alt and Shift will make it so that you zoom in and out a lot quicker. When you guys have guides and rulers active, which is Control r you can quickly hide and unhide them by pressing Control h now for this last one, it is a sequence. Control, Alt, Shift, and S is a shortcut for saving for web. However, pressing that sequence, then right after pressing enter, then type the name of the file, then press enter again, Photoshop will actually recognize this sequence and there is no need to wait for each window. All right, guys, that is the end of the video here today. So hopefully, guys, if you did end up enjoying it, please leave a like on it. If I taught you something, just let me know what I did so I know what to look out for next time and to help you guys out some more. If you guys, of course, new, please sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. So with that being said, Seso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love, peace. And of course, don't forget, selfie.com slash everything packed, 50% off, all that good stuff. And we're out. I'm leaving this video. We're done. <laughs>